Charles and I was talking about this. There is a lot. There is a lot of uh, when we was talking. There's a, and I believe that when God talks about people of the world not knowing the word, these guys are. We was over there. There's a lot of people don't even have a clue of who Yeshua is. Not a clue. In fact, Rose stood up with our guy who was over there. He was Abdullah. Abdullah. Yeah, Abdullah. He was. He was Muslim. Every guy. Uh, every in a way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He really was Muslim. Holiday, holiday. <laughs> you know. And finally, uh, Rose stood up. She goes, "Hold on the phone." He says, "You're talking to a bunch of people who believe in Yeshua." So would you mention that? You're kind of offending us because we don't believe in Allah. And I have to give her credit, you know, I have to give her a lot of credit for doing that because I was thinking it, and I'm sure a bunch of the other guys were thinking it, but we never said it. But then Rabbi went up and, and started teaching teaching to him, you know, himself out of the Bible and showing him out of the Bible where he was, where he had been mistaken in our eyes. But that had some effect because later on he offered me some cows in exchange for her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even want to care. <laughs> he might have wanted to try and convert her, though, Charlie. Yeah, I think true. so. <laughs> owner. Owner. <laughs> but, another, but another thing about this territory is, if I got it right, if this, there's a mountain called Mount Macaris, which a lot of you guys probably don't know much about. Uh, Mount Macaris is where uh, John the Baptist where Solomon was dancing before the king and asked for the head of John the Baptist. So, you don't hear much about it, but I believe, in my personal opinion, that's where it was at. Because in, in, the, in the territory of Reuben, it is right across, if you go almost straight across, you will find uh, Qumran, and in Qumran, was the Assyrian, the Assyrians, and they were they were preaching, and John the Baptist would go up there and learn. And when he would leave, he would go into the wilderness. Well, where's the wilderness? It's not up north. It's got to be down this area. And if you look, uh, the Jordan River goes right down there, and down in there is uh, a baptismal site where John the Baptist was baptized. Up Mount Macaris is up further, so the Romans were down there in that time of the year where they could go down and get him and bring him up. Behead him and bring the head up to her. And uh, I got to thinking, you know, that, that's, that, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. But we get to thinking now, and that's pro that is most likely the, the area where, where it happened was in, in the territory. Is that Mount Herman? Mm -hmm. Mount Herman, is that new belt? Mount new belt? Uh, I don't Mount think Herman's so. I think that's up north. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mount Herman's. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess up north. That's... But anyway, as we, <coughs> as we get into this thing, each one of these things runs into numbers. And this is another one of my subjects that God, that God put on my heart. But if you go according to the Hebrew, uh, Reuben adds up to 259. Now that doesn't seem much looking at it. But in, but in God's eyes it is. And I come up with, with, a, with, a, with a couple things. And uh, of course, when I first started out, it was, of course, witness and witness and grace and finality. But then the Lord told me, He said, you know what, you need to go and come around here and get on their side. Uh, with the with the Orthodox Jew, what the Jewish people are looking at, not so much as what the Messianic people are looking at, because we need to minister to the Jew, you know, as well as the Messianic. So we have to know kind of both sides. So I went and done some digging on that, and uh, I come up with uh, with two, and it and it. Uh, to me, and to the Orthodox Jews, it would probably be Adam and Eve. They started the whole thing out. And then the five would be eternity, which is God's, God's uh, holy kingdom. You know, it's, it's, and then the nine, which made sense to me, because it means new life, as well as 
eternal life. So you have you have Adam and Eve, with, who God created for His eternal kingdom, and they are there. Man, they got a new life, and they got eternal life, even though they sin. It's a picture of God showing us that you can sin and you can make it to heaven. You just have to after you're, after everything's done. You have to be able to walk and be anchored in the Word and stay stay in it. And then He'll bring you out of this. Because He forgave these people. He forgave Israel a lot. If their heart was right, He forgave them. And that's the key to it. And over. And over. And over, yeah. And, over. and He keeps continuing to do that for us. Thank the Lord. Thank goodness. But it equals out to, uh, it equals out to 16. What's... You know, there's no 16 in the Hebrew language. It goes straight from 10 to 20. There is 11 and 12, but we aren't there yet. And I'll show you those when the time comes. Because we don't see 11 and 12, but guess what? The Hebrew people see 11 and 12 because they see the 12 tribes. So they have to have 11 and 12 in their, in their teachings. So... I got to thinking about that, and I says, well, there's one, and there's six. And you look up here, and this is God, of course, and this is flesh. So God created the flesh, you see here. He created the man, and he was going to create flesh out of the seed from his house. And he does today. But... And then you come down and you go, well, the that total is up to seven. And Rabbi, oops, excuse me. And Rabbi had done a teaching on seven today. And to us, and to us who uh, teach everything, this is spiritual perfection mm -hmm. right here. That is key because seven is, is uh, the Lord's number. Always has been and it always will be, even no matter uh, what anybody says. But I'm open to any questions that you guys have about anything. Remember, it was Bala, it was the downfall of Bala, not anything to do with Joseph. It was here. And we're going to find out that these tribes, uh, the Orthodox Jews, I was talking to one over there that he believes that all these tribes were disbanded at Mount Sinai. But I got to thinking if that happened, I said, how did everybody get territories? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, because that's in the Torah. That's and, right. I, and I think, wait a minute, that, uh, somebody, my, either my teaching is not right or their teaching is wrong because they aren't teaching them the whole thing. 